A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to Gaming with Kaiju Force Neo Face Camp Specials Insurgents. And right now we have ourselves some more Little Big Planet 3 related content. So do be sure to enjoy this while we can, because when I have GWK recollected, then you can very much expect this to be around as well, as I was able to play a little bit of this for some time, and well, being that I was able to revisit it and play through the whole game and then pretty much just make a slew of different GWK based content with this is certainly quite a privilege, but I mean, the whole thing about it is that with this title as a whole, yeah, there's a lot that I'll have to do with this game. A lot of accomplishments that I hope to set in motion and a lot of various other things that I'll have to worry about here. So, right now we have some electrical fields with some pink lightning. Oh, I electrocuted myself. So I'm going to have to try again, try and get through those without getting zapped. Try and go. And, wait. Wow. So I guess if I tilt this whole thing around, I mean, that green thing, I could tell it's probably what switches these things around. So, okay, I feel like I get it now. Yeah, there we go. Managed to get to the other side just like that. And then when I pass those things again, that's what's going to allow me to get by easily. And with that, the level is complete. And well, I got myself a drum machine and I got 70 items. Well, 70% worth of items, that is. So, I mean, that's not bad, at least for a level of completion like this. Then again, there's probably a lot of other circumstances I'd have to play by very carefully. Otherwise, who even knows what could turn up? But yet, we are here in Little Big Planet 3 in this little world of some Pinkerton stuff. I mean,. Of course, we could always go hit up one of the shops around here and pretty much try something, but yeah, I know about these other levels here that I'm seeing, but still, man, I tell you, when I try to work on this stuff early on, I mean, that could probably be what the cause of a lot of things around here. I mean, I really do feel like I have lethargy at this point, or it could just be some insufficient sleep so well there we go gotta pass through these blocks here in the correct way. There we go. And I'm doing pretty good here. All right, 32 points, 33, 34, 39, 40. Oh, darn it. Wow. At least I got to the bronze ranking. I mean, that was probably all right. I guess we'll give this one a try here and see where it goes. If I can go any higher than this, well, I guess this is pretty much how this whole thing works here. All right, two points, three points, four points, five points, yep. 11 points, yeah, because I got a multiplier. 12, 13, 14, which added up to 28. Wow, not bad. Got up to 30, 31, 32, 33. I feel like I might get higher than this one. Oh, oh, come on, man. Up towards the bronze ranking again, I mean. Like, where would I have to go here? Where do I have to go at this point? Like, is there a way out? 
Or do I have to return to the pod? Yeah, I'll just return to the pod. And I feel like that that's just pretty much what that is, so... At this point in time, it just seems like I'm probably not gonna do as well as I probably would have figured I would be able to do, so... I mean, when you really take a look at it here, we do have a whole abundance of things to try. I'm trying to look busy. Weaving a tangled web, yeah. I tell you what though, Media Molecule sure does have it put together. Just the way we need it. And well, when you really think about it though, these levels sure are intricate. At least for 2D, 3D platformers in a way. I'm more than glad that the more recent reboot from 2020, Sackboy A Big Adventure, really does happen to be an incredible piece. A nice way to reboot the franchise with Sumo Sheffield under the control. And so, it's still a really good game nonetheless. Little Big Planet 3 here sure does have a pretty big, big piece behind it. So, the fact that they took a bit of a hiatus from it, and even more so, I mean, that's probably the reason why we never got a part four, but yet for a reboot to the franchise, Sackboy Big Adventure, we do have a slew of opportunities that lie ahead. There might actually be a sequel to it coming soon. But we don't know anything about that for sure. We have ourselves the opening cinematic, which relates to this game so well. And of course it has a lot of constant shuffling throughout the franchise. Lots of different characters are put together. Lots of different things relating to the continuity are put into place. And when you really get down to it, that certainly is a lot to keep it, keep track of, at least. But, by any means, am I not really up for discrimination or am I up for any sort of scrutiny here? But it is certainly a good franchise nonetheless. And Media Molecule and Sumo Sheffield, no matter what company that the franchise is under at this point, they sure do know when to keep this stuff under their control and in the right spectrum. So, being that we've come this far in life, being that we've gotten to know about every single portion of this franchise as we know about it today, I'm more than glad to actually be a good part of it. And being that I've been a longtime fan of the franchise as a whole, pretty much since day one, I can tell you for sure that, well, there's a variety of different things that we'll probably be looking forward to. The future is certainly going to be brighter than what we've typically expected. The future then was is more like the past now. And I'm more than glad that 2021 is history, so we no longer have to deal with such horrid things out there. And so here in 2022, I am more than glad to see a lot of stuff happen. A lot of good intentions are put into play. A ton of goals are set in motion. And it's also important to note that with the likes of many other things, who even knows what could also turn up this whole year 